are outside the church hall in Franschhoek at the Franschhoek Literary Festival. It's day one of the festival. Our project is called Poetry for Life and the idea is that to try and get high school students to learn already written poetry so that they can stand up in front of an audience and recite it and not simply engage with it on the page. The trail is going to recite Louis McNeese's Prayer Before the I am not yet born. Rehearse me in the parts I must play and the cues I must take when old men lecture me. Bureaucrats hector me, mountains frown at me, lovers laugh at me. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. The format of the competition which is reflected in the final is that every student has to learn one international poem from a selected list which we've selected and one South African poem. And they have to learn them, memorize them and stand up and perform. It matters not how straight the gate, how charge of punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Next to the green of Swaziland, below Zambia's waterfalls, beneath Angola's hidden history, right into the sand paintings of Namibia, above the peak or the Maludi mountains of Lesotho, or the blue sea of Mozambique. We got the, the IEB schools and the Western Cape Education Department behind us, and within the space of three to four weeks, 30 schools had entered. Never forget Harambe, and learn your blemishes, and learn Idi Amin, Mogotu, Bashir, Mengitsu, and learn civil war, coups, blood diamonds, kleptocracy, xenophobia, genocide, child soldiers, and casualties, and learn your Okay. We've started the competition with the, with the grand plan that it will be a national competition and that all nine South African provinces will partake. We managed to get two competitors from Gauteng and five from the Western Cape for this inaugural national final. It was with unbelieving ears I heard my artless songs become the groans and cries of men. And you? Why you may pity me also for what I do when such a voice is speaking. I'm so proud of the students. They wowed 240 people today and uh, I'm sure that we can double that next time. Within another year or so we might have seven countries all doing their own competition which was in, to encourage young people to learn poetry and say it to audiences.